What is going on my gymless heroes? Welcome to gymless.org where we teach you how to get fit and strong outside the gym. I'm Pat Chadwick, a calisthenics coach with over four years of experience in helping students from all over the world get fit and strong using bodyweight exercises. Now in this video, I'll be walking you through my back and bicep routine. But before we begin, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button that is located under this video to be notified for future workout tutorials like this one. All right, so this workout predominantly targets your biceps and your back muscles, which include your lats, your trapezius, your rhomboids, and your lower back muscles. And it also targets your core and forearms. There'll be 10 exercises in total, which are pull-up variations that have specific and unique movement path, which is designed to target your biceps and your back muscles. So you'll be following along with me so if you need to take a break, please do. Just press pause on the video and resume when you're ready to go again. All right, so the first exercise is called Australian pull-ups. Now, there are two ways that you can do this. You can either do it on a set of gymnastic swings or you can do it on a low bar, low straight bar. All right, so I'll show you how to do it on gymnastic swings first. So you grip the bar standing tall using pronated grip, okay? Take a few steps back. We're gonna lean back, extending our arms out fully, keeping your core and glutes engaged so that your body is in a straight line. Dig your heels into the ground. Then what we'll do is we'll retract our scapulas. So pull our shoulder blade together and then pull the rings towards our chest. Extend slowly, locking your arms out fully before repeating the next rep. And here's the rule. The steeper your body is, the easier it will be because more load will be distributed to your body, right? So whereas the flatter your body, so if you place your feet forward, now I'm at a flatter angle, this will be much more harder to perform the move because more load will now be distributed to your upper body, all right? So this exercise is great for targeting your back muscles and your biceps, and it's a great progression towards unlocking the pull-up. All right, so this is how you do it on a straight bar. So you position yourself under a low bar. Ideally, your hands should be in line with your upper, upper chest or the middle chest. Arms locked out, core and glutes engaged, and we'll start by doing 10 reps, all right? So we track your scapulas, pull up as high as you can. One, keep your core tight. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale on your way up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Moving on to the second exercise drill, which is called reverse ring flies. Now this exercise will target your upper back muscles, which includes your traps, your rhomboids, and your lats, okay? So you get into an Australian pull-up position. So remember, stand tall, take a few steps back, lean back, locking our arms out, okay? So now your fists, your palms are in a neutral grip position, keeping your arms locked out, we will pull our hands away from each other, like that. Retracting your scapulas, shoulder blades, squeeze, and return back to the starting position. Squeeze, and return back to the starting position. And here's the rule. The steeper the slope of your body, the easier it will be to perform this exercise. Whereas the flatter the slope of your body is, the harder it will be, okay? So let's do 10 reps together. All right, so let's get in position. Lean back, arms locked out, and let's do 10 reps. exercise which is called ring curls now this exercise will put emphasis on your biceps all right so I'll show you how to do it so stand tall gripping the rings using a supinated or underhand grip okay take a few steps back we're gonna now lean back extending our arms out keep our elbows in line with your shoulders okay and then we're gonna curl our hands towards our head hold at the top position for a couple of seconds and then slowly extend your arm Okay, so we really want to keep our elbows fixed in a single position. So imagine there's a bolt or a screw that is tight in your elbows so that it doesn't move. And hold. 
All right, so let's do 10 reps together. And also, the same rule applies. The steeper the slope of your body, the easier it will be. And the flatter the slope of your body, the harder it will be. So I'll go a little bit more flatter just to challenge myself, okay? Keeping elbows fixed. One, core and glutes tight. Exhale on your way up. Two, lock your arms out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The fourth exercise drill will be called pull-ups. Now, if you can't do the pull-ups, don't worry, I will show you an easier alternative in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen here, which will be negative pull-ups, okay? So to do the pull-ups, grip on the bar tightly at wider than shoulders width using pronated grip. Feet together, core engaged. We're gonna pull up by bending elbows until our chin is above the bar. Lower down, lock your arms out fully before repeating the next rep. All right, so let's do 10 reps. Core and glutes engage, exhale on your way up. One, two, inhale on your way down. Three, keep your arms out fully. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Core and glutes tight, nine, So the pull-ups predominantly targets your lats and your bicep. And now moving on to the fifth exercise, which is called pelican curls. This exercise predominantly targets your bicep. All right, so I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna grip onto the rings using a neutral grip, okay? Take a few steps forward. Then we're gonna extend our arms backwards, leaning our body forward like this. So now your weight should be on your toes. Then keeping your core and glutes engaged, we will curl our hands down towards the ground so pull our body back upwards using your biceps and try to keep your elbows in a fixed position. Really use your biceps to pull. Squeeze at the top briefly, lower down, locking arms out before repeating the next rep. All right, so let's do 10 reps. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. The next exercise drill is called inverted deadlift. This exercise will target your lower back, all right? So to begin, you grip onto the bar tightly, then we're gonna jump up. So we're gonna kick our legs upwards towards the sky, trying to keep them as straight as possible, okay? So jump up, kick our legs up. So this will be in an inverted hanging position, okay? Keep your feet straight, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower our hips down, go into a pike position until your back is parallel to the ground, and then push up with your lower back. Keep your arms locked out and your feet straight. Let's do 10 reps. Exhale on your way up. Keep your arms and feet straight. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so the next exercise drill is called skin the cat. Now this exercise will target your core and your lats, which is great conditioning exercise for the front lever and the back lever. All right, so to do this, grip on the bar or on the ring at wider than shoulders width. Okay, then we're gonna loop our legs through the space between our hands and our head. Backwards, all right? So I'll show you what I mean. Loop your legs around. 
come down until your back is about parallel to the ground or lower if possible feel that nice stretch pull back using your core and your lats and return to the starting position all right so we'll do five reps of this okay so three two one and go one feel that nice stretch keep your knees tucked in you can use a bit of momentum if you need to two three two more four last one and five pull back with your lats and your core Woo. all right so the next exercise drill is called the australian pull-ups this one will be supinated grip australian pull-up so it'll be a bicep focused exercise Again, you can do this either on the straight bar or on gymnastics rings, but I'm gonna do it on straight bar because this bar puts my body at a flatter angle, therefore it'll make it harder for me to perform, okay? So, position your body. So your hand should be in line with your chest, middle chest, arms and feet straight, core engage, and pull up. <sighs> Exhale as you go up, one. I'm gonna do 10 reps, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. So the ninth exercise drill is called isometric chin up hold. So what isometric is, is a form of isometric contraction, which means you're contracting your muscles without actually lengthening it, okay? And the benefit of doing this is that it will develop the strength and endurance for your biceps and your lats, which will help you to progress towards being able to do chin-ups and pull-ups. So we're gonna do a chin-up variation to really target our biceps. So we're gonna do, use a low bar, all right? You're gonna jump up so that your chin is above the bar. Squeeze your biceps, squeeze your back, and we're just gonna hold this position for 20 seconds. And go, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Core tight, glutes tight. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo. You should really feel it in your biceps. The tenth and final exercise drill is called commando pull-ups. This exercise will target your lats and your biceps. Predominantly your biceps because you'll be using a neutral grip, okay? So to do this, you place yourself sideways towards the bar and you're gonna be holding the bar using this grip, okay? So hands in front of each other and like this, okay? Our arms locked up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up until your chin clears the bar, lower down and then pull up until your chin clears the other side of the bar. All right, so I'm gonna do 10 reps, but don't worry if you cannot yet do commando pull-ups. I'll show you an easier alternative, which is negative commando pull-ups, which is shown in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen here, okay? So let's do 10 reps. Start in the dead hang position. Pull up, chin clears the bar. One, exhale on your way up. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. So there you have it, my gymnast heroes. Ten back and bicep exercises that utilizes only your body weight. Okay. So if you do find it useful, please give it a like and consider pressing the subscribe button that is located under this video to be notified for future workout tutorials like this one. So if you do have any questions regarding this workout, please let me know in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching guys. Check us out at gymless.org for more tutorials and please like and subscribe.